I told you that a crazy, desperate man called in a bomb threat on a cruise ship all because they wanted a refund. Well, it's true, it actually happened. I'm gonna give you the details of it. In fact, on the same day in the same area, there were two bomb threats. One on the cruise ship, the one I'm gonna talk about today, and another one on the airline known as Scoot. However, we're gonna scoot that conversation on over because this is the ship life. We're gonna talk about the cruise ship stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. There was a 39 year old man whose photos have not been released publicly by the name of Neo Hui Gim. However, for the sake of not butchering that name any further, we're gonna go ahead and call him Neo for short. You know, like the Matrix stuff, he's going to be the bad guy in this particular case. At approximately 2.30 p.m. local time over in Singapore, he sent an email to the customer service department of Resorts World Cruises titled Bomb at Resorts World Cruises. Contained inside the email, a very intelligent message read, please return me back my monies, else ship will explode and everyone dropped into the sea. Naturally, this would prompt police and other authority figures over in Singapore to head over to the Marina Bay Cruise Center. There, they would check for hours, check the cruise ships, check the entire port. Thankfully, they didn't find any sightings or any indication that there were bombs either on board the cruise ship or over at the cruise port. After all the ships and the cruise port was checked, in just under three hours, the police were able to find and arrest Neo. He is currently in a mental institution over in Singapore. If he is found guilty, he could face up to seven years in prison, as well as a $50,000 fine. As for the passengers that were set to sail out of the Marina Bay cruise port, they had a fear of inconvenience and a two hour delay. Other than that, everything was right as rain and they were able to sail on their vacation of a lifetime. All that being said, I do have to ask a very serious question. Of course, outside of this man, if he is found out to have some type of mental illness, of course, get him the help that he needs. And well, if he's found guilty, yes, give him, of course, the maximum punishment, seven years, $50,000 fine. But when it comes to just travel in general, specifically, I'm talking about cruise ships. And of course, you can tie in airlines looped in with that because people are traveling to get to said cruise ship. Why are people freaking out so much these days? Or maybe it is the fact that, yes, with this digital revolution, more people have cell phones and more people people have, let's say, local media and independent media, and there are more people talking about these issues. However, I just don't understand why people have these kinds of freakouts. Don't get me wrong. I've had my issues in the past when it comes to, let's say, doing business and the refund policy and feeling like I've been cheated out of my money when it comes to doing any kind of business exchange. However, there are a lot of people that just tend to go off the top, and I don't think those people have any real type of mental illness. I'm not talking about this particular case with Neo here, but I've been on a lot of ships, I've been on a lot of planes, I've seen a lot of freakouts, and I'm just wondering, at this point in time, what is going on? Because it seems like maybe, I don't know if it's like post-pandemic, but it seems like since COVID and that whole thing happened, people have been really just kind of going off for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Maybe it's a patience issue. People just don't have the patience that they used to, and well, they don't have the emotional control that they used to, which thus is going to cause these explosion of emotional rage that we've been seeing over the past year or so. Anywho, that's all I got. Short little giblet of news. By the way, I did want to ask all of you, what if I had a YouTube channel around travel outside of cruising, like whether it be airlines or let's say trains. I don't know if you guys seen that Richard Branson lawsuit that just went down. I live over here in Florida with the whole right line thing. Just to be clear, I am talking about a channel with this similar structure in the form of like news, commentary reactions most of you already know I do have a travel vlog channel in which I'm doing vlogs like real time whether it be on cruise ships and theme parks and all that I have plans for that coming up however I'm talking about more along the lines of another news channel about things that don't just pertain to cruise ships what do you guys think I want to be able to talk about that kind of stuff too as well as issues that might happen especially on planes fights and all the outrageous things that take place because believe it or not I do have a lot of travel experience outside of cruising because in order to go to all these cruises that I go to I do fly quite a bit more than most people honestly up until this month here I've been flying on planes every single week all year and pretty much every week all last year and well of course prior to that when I used to work for the Harlem Globetrotters on tour and all that anyway guys if you want to see some other content I'm thinking about starting a brand new channel which I think would probably grow pretty fast because cruising in the grand scheme of things is a somewhat smaller niche of travel so I'm thinking about switching over to the airlines resorts and of course I have bigger plans next year as we sail into 2024 I can't wait to share all of it with you but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on all of this know as usual i love each and every one of you hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already anyway sorry for talking too much see you later guys take it easy